Welcome to the Zen Zone. Zen Lee here, riding the best EUC ever made. This is truly the evolution of EUCs. This is the EUC I personally have been waiting for. But just because it is the best EUC for me does not mean it's the best EUC for you. Not everybody can handle this much power, although I would argue that it's good to have that extra bit of power more so, especially on the acceleration side. If you need to get out of harm's way, let's say a car is coming or some unexpected obstacle, you're off-roading and you want to get up a hill, having instantaneous power is extremely helpful. And I would, again, argue that it's going to keep you safer. Having that power, being, if you're in an urban setting, being able to get out of the way of harm's way instantly. Look, at, look how fast you can get across the intersection. It's like blink and you're across the intersection. And I have not pushed this wheel 100%. I'm afraid of this wheel a little bit. I'm still trying to master the master. It takes time and I'm still calibrating my mind to it and my legs. You got to get the different leg muscles. It turns different, especially with this tire. You can see how I kind of wave to that car there just to be visible. I'm always trying to be visible. I'm not even necessarily carving. Well, I am carving because it's fun, but also it makes you more visible. As long as you know who's behind you, look behind you and then do a little bit of carving just to make sure you're visible. Um, yeah, this wheel has power like no other wheel. I was starting to get a little bit bored of my EX. I feel like I had taken it as far as it go, even cut out at 49 miles an hour on it. With this master, I can go 49 miles per hour, as long as I'm at 100%, and not have to worry about cutting it out. Plus, it has better suspension than the EX, quite a bit better. I'm able to go up curbs, no problem, which the EX could do, but with the EX, when you're going off curbs and sometimes off-roading, you have to worry about clipping your suspension rods. I don't have to worry about that anymore. And the tire clearance is phenomenal. My only previous complaint was the height, which only really matters to me when it's windy. Right today, it's like 100 degrees in Vegas. There's no wind at all. So I can just fly on this and not have to worry about wind wobbles or anything, unexpected wind gusts. And when, when there's no wind, man, this thing, the height is awesome, especially off-roading, not having to worry about clipping pedals. If you saw Chance's race at Shredfest, I think the Masters, the two Masters got first and second. It almost didn't even seem fair, to be honest. Watching Chooch on his EXN, it's kind of like, man, yep, that is an outdated EUC. Although it would still be great on street, but off-roading on the EXN. I always question Chooch's wheel selection. Like at Apple Valley, he already got first place on the EXN. For him to take the V12 was a bit risky and didn't pay off. And then at this race, I think he should have used the V12 torque shred fest but he used the exn so his his wheel selection is a bit interesting maybe the v12 was down or something like that or he just didn't have confidence in it but i feel like it would have been much better anyways the masters blow both the v12 who cares about the v12 and exn when you got a master because the master just blows both those wheels out of the water in off-roading and on the street there's not a better wheel you can buy with your money in my opinion than the master Regarding the different battery options, I have no problems with this battery option, the more affordable one. Whatever one's cheaper, I would go with. Or if you got the money, just buy the most expensive one. But I've had no issues with this battery, except, you know, the sag, which I know when that's coming, and I stop riding when it sags. If I'm offering, I don't even really care about the sag because it's not going to be too much of an issue at speeds over uh, 40 or under 40. So when I'm off-roading, I'm usually not going over 40 miles an hour, so I don't have to worry about the sag as much. And I don't really notice a power, uh, a decline in power when I'm off-roading and it starts to get low. Usually, I get tired before it starts to get too low. I don't think I've actually used... Oh, yeah, there's one ride in Oregon where I used the full entire battery and was able to go about 45 miles of range. Again, guys, I know this is a bit of a hype video. So one thing I don't really like about it, it's not as easy to do a tire change as I thought it would be, although it's not that hard. Not as easy as my EX, but it's not that hard. I actually saw somebody, I think they made a video about it. They did a tire change without taking off a cable. So that's really interesting. You're going to have to watch that video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Vegas is beautiful. Hope you get lots of riding in this summer. Until next time, stay in the sense zone.